Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to today's Caffeine for the Soul. And despite the title of today's episode, what we're going to be looking at together today is meditation. Now, those of you who listen to these podcasts regularly know that when I talk about meditation, I'm not really talking about a process, a technique, a practice where you sit for 15 minutes and you set a timer and you listen to calming music or you sit for 20 minutes and you repeat a mantra or you sit for 30 minutes and you focus on your breath or any of the wonderful variations on meditation techniques that have been taught over the years. What I'm pointing to when I talk about meditation is a natural state of being. If you've ever read any of the the work of Krishnamurti, he, he distinguishes true meditation, real meditation, from the practice of meditation by pointing out that any form of concentration, which is a literal definition of meditation, tends to have the opposite effect of true meditation. Instead of opening us up to a larger spiritual reality, it quiets the mind. But as soon as you stop meditating, the mind starts up again. And it can become very frustrating. And I'm always playing around with different ways of talking about this. And I was speaking with a client the other week. And the metaphor that came to mind was that accessing the state of meditation is a lot like putting the kids to bed. Now, if you've never had kids, you're going to have to imagine this, but you've probably been alive long enough to be able to imagine it pretty well. You probably remember being a kid, if not being around kids. And the thing about kids is they generally don't want to go to bed. And the more you push, and it's bedtime now, the more they push back. And, and, and it, 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 you know, a lot of parents it, it will, will say that the hardest part of the day is putting the kids to bed. But they do it anyways because they know that, A, the kids do a lot better when they're rested. And, B, once the kids are in bed, they get to relax. And substitute your thinking for the kids. Right? When we sit down and try to quiet our minds and quiet our thinking, our thinking tends to go nuts. It, it's real squirrely real quickly. It's like herding cats. But if we've got some experience with the state of meditation, we know that whatever it seems to take to get there is worthwhile, both because our mind does a lot better when it's rested. And because when our mind is resting, we're free to really experience a a carefree life. We're free to experience a depth of quiet and stillness and insight and well-being. So if 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 you're listening to this and and you're thinking, okay, so what's the strategy? What are some strategies for putting the kids to bed? I, I'm not saying there aren't any, but I'm saying that as a parent and as probably any parent you would talk to or you will know for yourself. There's no one strategy that works to put the kids to bed every night. But by the same token, whatever gets the kids to go to bed works out great. And to kind of extend the metaphor, and maybe extend it too far, maybe not, when you put the kids to bed, you don't usually give yourself crap about the fact that they're going to wake up again in the morning. 
you probably know. <laughs> you know, I'm going to put the kids to bed, and they're going to sleep for a while, and then they'll be up. But if they're rested, it'll be really fun having them up. And then they'll go to bed again. And in the same way, when we put our thinking to bed, it'll come back. That doesn't mean you failed. That doesn't mean oh, I'm a bad meditator. It just means that that's the nature of the mind. Sometimes it's at rest and sometimes in motion. But when it gets enough rest, then the motion is beautiful. And then the gift of thought no longer seems like a burden, but it truly seems like the gift that it is. So play with that this week. See what it does for you. Put the kids to bed and notice how your experience changes. Have fun, learn heaps, happy exploring, and I'll talk with you soon. 